So, people ask me why I use a Dell brand monitor when I'm such an Apple fan. Well, here's why. Well, I'll start by mentioning that all the monitors that Apple makes are high-end monitors, and thus not affordable for guys like me. So, that leaves me scouring the likes of Fry's, Best Buy, and CompUSA to look for a monitor. So, pretty much all of the monitors in the store are exactly the same. It's almost like they just have different brand names on them. And they're all, the marketing departments are all trying to convince me that one is better than another because one has more resolution or a better contrast ratio or one is super thin. But they don't really seem to have any of the things that I actually care about. So let me tell you what those things are. Sound. So yes, I like my monitors to have built-in sound. I mean, I just don't like having speakers cluttering up my desk and 90% uh, of monitors do not have built-in sound. And the 10% that do have horrible sound. I mean, it sounds like a tin can. I mean, it's just barely good enough to hear warning sounds from your operating system. So I feel like if you're going to put my, uh, speakers on a monitor, they should at least sound as good as a $10 pair of computer speakers. The Dell UltraSharp monitors have an optional soundbar. It's compatible with all of their monitors no matter which size or whether it's widescreen or standard. The bar is powered directly from the monitor, again saving clutter of an additional power supply. And what makes this really good design is that the speaker bar can be replaced if it fails or you blow the speakers out or something like that. It has its own volume control and an actual knob so you don't have to clutter around in some menu for 10 minutes to change the volume. And one of the best parts is that it has not one, but two headphone jacks in the side. Adjustable stand. As hard as it is to believe, most of the monitors don't have adjustable stands anymore. And the few that do tend to adjust upwards, but not low enough for me. I want my monitor to be lower than most people. The Dell monitors have a stand that is highly flexible. Not only can it go very high or very low, but you can even rotate the darn thing on its side. USB ports. For some reason that I can't fathom, Apple has never given us USB ports on the front of the computers. Take this Mac Mini. The only USB ports are on the back. Apple says they give you an extra USB port or two on the keyboard. And while that is true, in my experience, most things won't work correctly from these ports. The reason is either that they simply won't fit or because the USB hub in the keyboard doesn't supply enough power. In some cases, I've actually screwed down a USB hub to the desk next to a Mac Mini so I could have easy access to plug in things like USB flash drives, cameras, or phones. The Dell monitors give you two USB ports on the back, which I use for the keyboard or a webcam, and two ports on the side, which is good for USB flash drives. And they actually space the ports far enough apart that you can use two devices at the same time. I can't tell you how many times I've run into the situation where you have two ports, but you can't use them because they're too close together. And of course, the USB ports are powered ports, and the monitor supplies the power. Again, reducing a huge amount of clutter. Video inputs. It's worth mentioning that these support VGA and DVI. And since DVI is basically the same thing as HDMI, you can also use this monitor with HDMI devices by getting a cheap cable like this from eBay. So these things can work with darn near any type of computer, and some Dell monitors even include composite and S-video connections, making it one of the most versatile in the world. Widescreen or not. In case you haven't noticed, all of the monitors in the computer stores are basically widescreen monitors these days. Now, call me old fashioned, but I actually prefer the old standard size, you know, 4x3 aspect monitors. And I firmly believe that the only reason the manufacturers went to widescreen is because they could sell you less monitor for the same money. And here's how that works. Check this out. Both of these monitors are 19 inches. A standard monitor is roughly 14 by 8 inches by 11.8 inches, giving you a total area of 174.64 square inches. A widescreen monitor is roughly 16.1 inches by 10.2 inches, giving you a total area of 164.2 inches. So as you can see in, in the example of a 19 inch monitor, you're actually losing about 10 square inches of screen area in order to go to a widescreen and still call it a 19 inch monitor. 
And so you can imagine how thrilled the uh, manufacturers were to be able to sell you a 19-inch monitor that has less screen area. For the person who likes dual monitors, I think standard size monitors work better because two widescreen monitors is just too darn wide. So I think Dell makes one of the best monitors uh, for both business and consumer. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot find them in computer stores uh, because Dell does not sell in that manner. Uh, you have to order them directly from Dell uh, if you want a brand new one. Now, if you don't mind a used one, uh, you can pick them up on eBay. That's where I've gotten all of mine. And uh, I've also seen them uh, very inexpensive on places like Tiger Direct being sold off lease or refurbished. So that's another place you can look for them. Um, <laughs> I hope I don't drive the prices up on eBay by uh, putting out this video. <laughs> anyway, tell me what you'd like to see in the next video. Thanks.